You are watching Kit Cabinet and this is the inbox review of the Zvezda Yak 3 in 172nd scale. Okay, now this kit has been out for some time now, a couple of years. And this is a, um, a Yak 3 from Zvezda. And it's a snap fit uh, kit. But, as you will see in a minute, it's a very nice and well detailed snap kit. Let's have a look inside. Okay, so here we have the main sprues. And the first thing you can see is that it looks just like a, like a normal kit. A normal 170 second scale kit. And this is a snap fit kit. It's like it, it doesn't look toy like at all. And I mean, let's have a closer look here. And see if it will focus properly. You can see it's a very nice and crisply detailed here. Look at the inside of the cockpit. That's not a toy, that's a very good kit. And you don't need any glue for it. Well, I would be using glue for it anyway. See, like, you click it together and then I would use like Tamiya extra thin, thin cement. I like that stuff a lot. Because then everything gets like nicely bonded together. You won't get any small narrow cracks um, between the parts and will fuse everything nicely together but like for the build itself you could have this finished in like less than an hour if you would want that but of course it I mean you would want to paint this up nicely look at these cockpit parts It's really nice. Look at this finely detailed exhaust pipes, undercarriage parts. This is not a snap kit in the traditional sense of the word. word. More very fine cockpit uh, trim wheels. Yes, this is a very detailed kit disguised as a snap kit. The interior wheel well detail. Yes, this looks very good. You also have like a a choice in uh, in instrument panels, like a one with with the dials uh, in, in in raised detail, and one without, like a clean one. If you would like want to put a decal on there. And we have, even have a multiple part pilot. Which looks at first view looks very very convincing. It looks like a proper Russian pilot. The transparencies. Mm. The distortion isn't too bad. There's some some mild frosting on the inside. I might have to put some uh, future over that. But it looks nice, nice enough. Transparent uh, armor, armored uh, glass plate as well. Here we have the decals for two versions. One is a Normandy Niemen uh, version with the uh, red, white, and blue spinner. It's the which one? I th believe it's the number uh, six. White six is the Normandy Niemen version, and there's also white fifteen, which is a uh, uh, like a real uh, Russian uh, squadron. And the details themselves look uh, very good, nicely in register. Some nice stenciling here. So yeah, 
altogether very good and that for just under 9 euros hmm. the instructions in Russian and English yay and it's uh, yeah short is snap you snap this together Yeah, it's 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 as easy as a snap kit. The camo schemes, how you can paint it. I think that would be like uh, the, the 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 part of the model that would take uh, most time, like uh, give it a nice paint job, because this should go together in a breeze. And. Actually, the reason why I wanted to uh, make a short review of this is while it's still an inbox review, but I really want to build it. So, the back side of the box, this is what the model looks like unpainted, but of course, I'm going to paint it like this. So, I guess I'm going to start building. Thank you for watching and until the next video.